Hello and welcome to MBM Kids Online. It's so great that you could join us here today. My name is Ben and today we're looking at Psalm 49 and the story of a man who spent his whole life trying to get more stuff. So let's start by learning a new song. Hey everyone, we're going to teach you a new song today. So join in when you can. We're going to start off with the chorus. Let's go! Well, the greatest treasure in the whole wide world is peace with God. Yeah, the greatest treasure in the whole wide world is peace with God. It's the only treasure that will never fade. Even death can't take it away. Happiness or live for stuff, but it's all gonna fade away. But you never ever feel like you got enough because it's all gonna fade away. The trickiest toys that money can buy are all gonna fade away. Because the greatest treasure in the whole wide world is peace with God. Yeah, the greatest treasure. Hey everyone, so we're going to jump straight into our game. Now our game today is called Where is the Corn? So what's going to happen is an image is going to pop up with some of these corns hidden in the picture. It's your job in 30 seconds to find all of them. Alright, so in our first picture there are four corns. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, did you find them? Well, here they are. One, two, three, four. All right, for round two, there's going to be six corns hidden. Here we go. All right, how did you go this time? We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Okay, for round three, we have 15 corns hidden in this picture. Let's see how many you can find in 30 seconds. How did you go? Well, you can keep searching and searching to find more and more. In fact, people spend their whole life trying to get more and more stuff. Well, in today's story, we're looking at a rich farmer who did just that. Let's have a look. Hi, MPM Kids, Heidi here. Psalm 49 warns us against putting our trust in the things we have and not trusting God. In Luke chapter 12, Jesus tells us a story about a man who spent his life putting his trust in the things he had. In the end, he left everything behind. Jesus' story goes a little bit like this. There once was a farmer. He was a rich farmer. He was rich because he had good soil. His corn grew faster than all the other farmers' corn. So at harvest time, he had much more corn than all the other farmers. He was happy. But the farmer had a problem. He had heaps of corn, but his old barn was too small to store all the corn. It was far too small. So the farmer had to think. Hmm. At last, he said, no worries, I will knock down this old barn and build a bigger, better barn. Then I will be rich, rich enough to have a rest. So the farmer got to work. He knocked down the old barn and built a bigger, better barn. But at harvest time the next year, the new barn was still not big enough. You see, the farmer was greedy. He had planted more corn. The farmer said to himself, no worries, I will build an even bigger, better, super duper barn. Then I will have a rest. So the farmer got to work. He built an even bigger, better, super duper barn. But at harvest time the next year, the even bigger, better, super duper barn was still not big enough. Again, the greedy farmer had planted more corn. The farmer said to himself, I will build the most spectacular barn in the whole world. Then I will be so rich, I'll never have to work again. So the farmer got to work and he built the biggest, most enormous barn in the entire world. It was higher than the tallest tower. When the farmer had finished building, he smiled and said, tomorrow I will harvest all of my corn. Then when I'm done, I'll do something fun. I know what I'll do. I'll have a party. But that very night, while the farmer was asleep, he died. Just like that. Well, the chickens came and ate up all of his corn and the biggest, grandest barn in the entire world stood empty. The farmer never got to have a party. He never got to enjoy being rich. No one lives forever. Rich or poor, everyone dies. And everything that we have on earth stays on earth. Children, don't put your trust in things that perish. 
Put your trust in God alone. Let's pray. Dear God, please help us to not put our trust in the things we have. We know that these things won't last, but help us to put our trust in Jesus alone. Amen. Hi kids. So we're gonna have a discussion about what we just heard in our story and also from Psalm 49. So let's read Psalm 49 together. Okay, starting from verse 10. See, even wise men die. Fools and stupid people also die. They leave their wealth to others. In verses 16 to 17. Don't be afraid of a rich man because his house is more beautiful. He won't take anything to the grave. His wealth won't die with him. So using our at home discussion questions, let's have a look. What do we learn about people and their riches? What do we learn about money, having beautiful houses, having lots and lots of things? Um, does anything last forever? Does anyone, rich or poor, wise or foolish, do they last forever? Hmm. Read, the, read those verses again and see what the Bible says. And then the application question is, what warning does Jesus want us to hear about today? Have a think. Talk about it with your parents and let's pray. Father God, uh, thank you that you remind us that nothing in this world lasts forever. Not our toys, not our things, no one in this world lasts forever. Only trusting in you can we be truly rich. Amen. Hi, MBM. It's Michelle. This is my brother. Hi, I am Caleb. This week, your challenge is to see how many coins you can throw into a jar without mess missing but make sure you take two big steps back. My brother Caleb is going to show us how many he can do. Are you ready, Caleb? Oh, yes I am! Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so, here. Taking two steps back, two big steps. One and a two. Yep. All right, let's okay. go. Nope. Oh, you missed that one. Nope. Nice. Nope. One. Two, three, four, five. No. Close. All right. Is that it? Yeah. All right, good job. You got five in a row. Okay. All right, it's your turn now. You can use anything you have at home. Maybe Lego pieces, real coins, or even chocolate coins. Make sure you send it to the kids' email. Have fun. Well, it's MBM Kids Challenge Starboard time. Well done to everyone who sent in their cross challenge. So congratulations, Beck and Josh. I'll stick your cross up there with lots of help from mum. Well done, mum. And also Caleb, Jane and Grace also sent in their cross challenge picture. And Caleb, we particularly liked your sword. Good creative challenge there. Okay, well, thanks for sending those in and we'll see you next week. Bye.